Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. I am here today with my Rio, which is Baby Aspen. He is the Aspen sculpt by Claire Teller and he was painted by me. He is, of course, bald like most of my babies. And I just came on just for a quick video, just a quick little question for you guys. And so everybody that has followed me for quite a while know that I'm the most indecisive person in the world when it comes to selling my personal collection or selling my babies, period. I buy babies or kits with the intent to paint them and sell them and let them go. Or I paint babies for myself. I keep them for a while. Then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm over it. I can let this one go because I want a new one or whatever the case may be, it is rarely a case where I sell a baby that I absolutely do not like. I usually sell my babies even when I still like them because I'm always wanting something else or I'm painting something else for myself or another one of that same sculpt. Anyway, so the story is with Baby Rio is um, I have two... Um, Aspen kits that I was supposed to paint to sell and I one I had a first writer refusal on it um, and I think I told this story before basically um, the person accepted and then declined later and then I just decided that yeah let me just keep this baby because I honestly really really like Rio so I was like, this maybe I should keep this one. So um, I decided. Then I decided not to, not to actually um, paint any Rios. I mean, not Rios Aspens to sell, because you know I did the prototype. I do still have the prototype, but I just kind of I don't know. So. <laughs> Every time I like buy something else or do something else, I'm thinking to myself like, oh, I need to sell another baby. And I'm looking around in my collection and I'm like, who can I sell? Who can I sell? Who can I sell? Who can I sell? So I'm like, okay, I already have this. I have the prototype Aspen that I never sold that I kept for myself. And then I have another blank Aspen that I've been working on slowly. <laughs> and then I have... Rio, which is an Aspen. So I'm like, I'm going to have three of the same sculpts. And I'm like, uh, okay, I could put it up for sale. Now, had somebody like instantly been like, okay, I'm going to buy this one. <laughs> I would have went ahead and sold it. But since I didn't like, somebody didn't ask to buy it like within the first hour. <laughs> I like, be like, never mind. I'm just not going to do it. Like, I... I know I get on people nerves with that and it's 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 very very annoying I know I'm sure of it but it's just how I am I just I love my babies and I get very attached to my work and even if it's they're not perfect they're like like I pour my whole heart out in my babies and I just I don't I don't be want to let them go and I love this sculpt like I love the newborn babies. I don't know. If you're new to my channel, you'll probably not know exactly what I like. But I love, love my newborn babies to look very newborn-y. And I like for them to be very newborn size. And I love Aspen legs. I actually told Claire, I said, listen, I don't care what you say. Aspen has my legs as a baby like he this is how my legs looked as a baby like seriously i just so i am so in love with the aspen and the um um abby like legs and <laughs> i know that sounds weird i fall in love with crazy things i love the aspen head shape i love his full lips and how detailed inside his mouth is like guys inside his mouth he has his little tongue he has gums he has a little uvula back there it's i mean well he don't have actual uvula but it kind of looks like a uvula he like he has the most beautiful sculpted mouth and i am all about sculpts 
Like, I'm all about the sculpting when it comes to the kids. Like, the one of the most things that I'm thankful for that I, I should definitely say out loud um, within, you know, my whole time of collecting and this year is the fact that is the, the the sculptors i love when sculptors really give us something different give us something good you know we see a lot of kids that kind of like oh that kid looks just like this kid you know that kid looks just like you know so and so kid but it's nice when you get kids that have their own little looks um now like Claire Taylor and Bonnie Brown babies, you can always tell them like they have their signature style, um, like Laura Tuzo Ross. You can always tell Laura Tuzo Ross sculpt. Like you, no matter how different it's painted, you'll be like, that's a Laura Tuzo Ross sculpt, but I don't know which name, which one it is. And that's the same way like with Claire Taylor sculpts and um, I don't know. I just can tell and Bonnie Brown, I can tell their sculpts. Um, I guess you could call it a signature style, but they still managed to do that with giving us something different. So I'm really, really thankful to those sculptors. Um, you guys know um, Claire Taylor has been one of my favorite sculptors for many years. Um, Natalie Blake, Bonnie Brown. Um, I adore Marita Wenders, uh, like uh, preemie babies, but you know, I just think that um, Claire Tilla does an amazing job with her legs and her bodies and just just the realism in 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 the the sculpts. Um, so yeah, so this this um, I don't think I named the Aspens as one of my favorite sculpts for um, 2021, but it is one of my favorites um, because. We rarely get kits with full lips <laughs> or lips at all. Like most kits barely have lips. Like either they're tucked in like the sucky lip with no bottom lip or no top lip, hardly no top lip, like very, very thin lips. And so I was so excited to see a sculpt with full lips. Um, we've had a couple out there and I think that's why I love the Alexis kit as well because it has full full lips. But anyway, I'm not gonna hold you guys long. I just wanted to come on and show him. I don't show him much on video. I've made a couple videos with him and then I actually deleted them. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna make a video with my little man and show him. Um, the other thing that's pretty cool about them is they take, they don't need a magnet. They can take a clip nipple pacifier and they also can suck their thumbs. So I like that. Um, so he sucks his little pacifier and I don't have to worry about putting a magnet, which I love. So that that's really, really, really cool. Um, I didn't even try to see if he can fit this one. This one is, um, yeah, I guess he can. This is actually Nevada's pacifier, but yeah. He can't actually fit it, but I like this one, the one that I have for him. But yeah, so that's my baby. Um, I am a hoarder. <laughs> and this hat is a knitted hat. It has the booties and everything that go with it, like the bottom. Um, when I used to buy Marlon Sweet Dreams uh, work, she sent this with one of the babies and I kept it. And so every so often the babies will wear that hat like so many of my babies have wore that hat that's another thing i do i recycle my baby clothes over and over and over and over and over again um so yeah so um and then he's just have on a little onesie from h m and his little hammocks i think from carter's and these are Gerber socks. <laughs> he's all mixed up. Um, he's still wearing his tummy plate because they do come, the kit comes with half tummy plate. And um, I, I say this because a lot of times I continue to tell people where to get the kits when I've done the prototypes. So um, 
if you want to get a blank kit for your artist to paint for you, um, you can go to clartelladolls.com and you will be able to get the Aspen and the Abby kit. The Abby is awake. Um, also, the Alex and Ashby has the same limbs, different faces. So that's pretty cool because I really love those limbs. And I will be painting an Alex next year. Won't be painting it this year for sure. But next year I will be painting an a, a Alex. Don't know if I'm going to keep it or sell it, but... The goal is to keep it, but we will see because I have a lot of babies in the work. So I may not be able to keep it because I am working on my dream baby. And if it becomes everything that I am trying to make it be, I am going to be content for a while. <laughs> I'm going to be very content for a while and the rooting is going to take me a while. So anyway, um that is that and i forget what was i gonna tell you guys i am gonna get him rooted i i just need to just other babies need their turn first and then i'm gonna get him rooted but um yeah so anyway that is it i will talk to you guys later oh let me show you guys his feet i'm always because i keep them so they both, they have, like he has the open toe, separated toe. So if I wanted to put him on some little cute little sandals or something, he could. Especially if you make him a girl. I did dress him up as a girl. And this, I think that he could go as a girl, but he would have to have hair. If you're going to make him a girl. Because the, the hair is going to have to give him more of the softer look that's my opinion um i think ball he has to be a boy so if he never gets hair he will have to stay a boy in my opinion that's just my thought process but i could be wrong i mean i guess if you put him on the right hats and stuff but i just see him as a boy but anyway again i will catch you guys later I hope you enjoy seeing him and if you guys are expect expecting one let me know and um, I'll see you in the next video.